All right, so we're gonna take a look at how we can get some pedal steel sounds on high time like Jerry did, but we're not gonna to try to sound exactly like him. We're just gonna make the easiest approach we can to getting this sound, which I think is playing an open E. And if you've never done this, never played slide, bear with me. It's a little easier than you might think, but let's do this backwards and let's listen to the bridge first, then the chorus and then the verse. I'm gonna play along each part and I'm gonna break down what's going on. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about slide and of course, open E. But let's give a listen to hearing the bridge part first. <laughs> Why open E? Well, it is just easy. We could do open G as well, but just open tunings with slide. If you've never tried it, you just go right across the strings, and there you go. It's an it's an open. Uh, I'm sorry, that's open E. But this is a you know. A, I can't say it. It's just a major chord. I'm gonna say an open major chord. It's just a it's just a major chord, right? So that would be our D. So if we're starting though, that's actually the start of the verse. So we'll start the uh, bridge we're doing, right? We're doing it backwards. We want to get to F, right? And uh, there you go. You just go right across that. You can do it down here too. But maybe we want to get a little higher. You want to get that higher pedal steel sound. So you just go across. You can pick any note across. And if you're new to slide, you know, I'm going to make some beginner slide stuff at some point. But you have to get right over the fret. Don't get back where you normally would. And just really give it a shake, you know. And if you want to have, if you got a volume pedal too, you can... There you go. So again, we're not going to look at any like specific looks Jerry did, but just of like, oh, getting this general sound, the easiest possible way. And the reason for that, again, open E, you just got to try it. Like, I was very skeptical on doing open tunings. When I first started playing slide, I only did standard tuning. I was afraid that, you know, like, oh, I'm relearning the fretboard. And I did it for a long time, just played slide standard tuning. Totally works. It's fine. And I actually have written this out for standard tuning as well. I'm going to purchase the PDF. I'll put a link down below for you can get the backing track to play this stuff on with yourself. And I also look at the open E voicings, just some little ideas of the open E voicings. And also I threw in the standard tuning for that. But for this video, I'm going to only go over the open E because I think it's actually, it's, it's even easier. But for a long time, I only did that. And then I took this, some lessons with this slide guy who just from the masters in my area who gently was like, you know, you should try open G. And I was just like, eh, you know, I was like relearning the fretboard. Tried it and it was just instantly so much easier getting those sounds that I hear people do. And then for a few years, that's all I did. And I never tried um, open E. And then honestly, just the other day, I was like, you know, I'm, I can be stubborn sometimes. I don't know. I feel like I'm open-minded and I try things in one sense. Another way can be a little stuck in my ways. Wow, I think open E is even better. But they all, you know, standard, open G, open E, open D, all stuff. They've got their different, you know, pros and cons. But I, I like E, so we're going with E. So anyways, back to the song. I, I recommend trying it. We've got F in the bridge. E, right? And then B down here. So it's all just finding that front. You can play any little pieces. Right? And then here is the only minor chord in here. So this is a great song to do this stuff because it's all a bunch of major chords except right here where you go over C sharp, but you don't want this one note right here. That's the major note. So you can just skip it. And just, if you're playing with your fingers, you just got that right there. Or in other ways, if you go up here and you play E actually, it will give you the sound of a uh, C sharp minor chord. So it's another way of, of doing it as uh, as well. And then it goes to A, so however we can do it down here, or we can do it way up here. 
um, different ways, yeah, and then back down to E. Does that a couple times, and it goes down to to D, and then just A. I mean, when I look at just going over it, it's just you know, it's like okay, there's not much to it. It's all about how you you know you utilize it. And again, if you use volume swells, you got a volume pedal. Put on a lot of reverb and stuff, and that'll, that'll get you uh, well in your way. But let's live, give a listen now to the chorus part and see what's going on there. This one just starts right off on the B. Back up to the E, right? And then it goes E, E, B, A real quick. You don't have to necessarily hit that. You could just, you could just hit the B or you could just skip it and just go to the A after that, you know? So keep in mind when these chords happen a little fast in some spots, um, you don't have to play them all. Just, just kind of ease in and uh, out, right? So down to A, you can always do both. You don't have to stay on just one. And then you've got E. You can slide down from E to D. Sounds nice like that. A little swell. And then, you know, A is just kind of going on chords. But chords again, it's really going to cover a lot of ground. These major chords moving all over the place. And then G. Do it there or there, and then another good spot, two frets apart. So G to A, just slide it up like that, you know. And now the last part is the verse. Let's listen to that first and then see what we're doing. So starting off on the D, and then there's that C sharp minor again. We could do it like that, or go up. You basically play an E, and that will give you that uh, minor sound. So if you got the the chord, you just go up three frets and just go right across the frets, and that's a good way to play. Give you the equivalent of a, uh, what's going to be a, that minor chord. And then moving to G sharp again, we can do it down here or up here. F sharp again, two frets apart. So. Um, you don't have to do a lot. You can just play sometimes two notes at a time. Do these two? Like you play a slide. I feel like it just—it's like the notes carry a lot of weight, so you don't have to do a whole lot. You can just just play it. a note or two, and you're like. Always giving it a good kind of vibrato there, a good shake. And then we got A, E, and, and then uh, finishing with just D and A. So it sounds a little boring, I'm just going through like that. But it's all about the context and just trying out different ways of doing it. And again, I've got the uh, backing track down below with all the parts minus the slide pedal steel part there and the uh, chart with the open E voicings and also the standard ones if you feel like it's uh, diving a little too deep in there to do this open E stuff. And uh, yeah, check that out and uh, have fun with it and crank up that reverb, get that big sound, get real spacey and just, just give it a shot. You know, don't be afraid to try it out. 
Uh, don't be like me. I was uh, I wanted to play slide for years, and I would hear Derek Trucks, my favorite players, and I'd just be so inspired and then so intimidated, and I just didn't do it for years. And uh, I regret that. I wish I started much sooner. So give it a shot if you're thinking about it, and uh, have fun with it. I'll see you in the next video.